Spiritual Lives of the Great Composers by Patrick Kavanaugh. I can't remember where I first heard about this book or got this book, but boy, we have eaten it up as a family. Music is one of those topics that we all need to know something about. And music is one of the most powerful forces on the planet. And it's important to understand how those beats affect us morally, how they affect our character. The things that we're listening to are definitely affecting the kinds of individuals that we become and the kind of families that we build and that creates the kind of society that we have. So we want to be careful and learn all about music and what makes music good and what makes music poor and listen to different genres and become adept at understanding the power of music, the history of music, all that great stuff. It's part of building character through the classics. And by the way, it's also something that the Ten Booms did. They created music and they went to concerts. If you, if you paid attention in the hiding place, they would stand outside the concerts and listen because they couldn't afford to go in and they were freezing, but they didn't care because music filled their souls. So um, this is about classical composers. For the most part, let me see how far forward it comes. The last one is Oliver Messane. He's got Igor Stravinsky, Charles Ives. So he has got, um, he's, he's got some uh, moving into the 20th century composers. Starts out chronologically is how it's put together with Bach. The first most famous Bach that had the 20 kids and all that good stuff. <clears throat> And what he's done is so fabulous because he's gone to their original writings. So um, Patrick Kavanaugh is citing the original sources. He's citing their journals. He's citing people that knew them. He's citing things that they actually said and behaviors that they did in their, in their lives to talk about what their spiritual lives were like. How was their spirituality influenced by their music and vice versa? How was their music influenced by their spirituality? That's, an, that's a very interesting question to explore and I really believe that they're interconnected so it's it's really a great great book to have in your home library he it's, he's highlighted 20 composers let me let me read you a little bit from this is an introduction by Christopher Parkening music has such spiritual qualities that we should not be surprised at discovering the strong faith many composers possess Yet this is a subject that is seldom brought out in the biographies of great musicians or composers. Indeed, one can read about music and study music literature for years without ever being informed of the personal Christian beliefs that many of history's greatest musicians held. And it is predominantly Christian, and I think pa Patrick Kavanaugh is probably a Christian, but he's bringing out the spiritual beliefs of the individual composers themselves. Now this is our Bach. It's marked all to, you know, it's marked to death. <clears throat> Kids have gone in there and read them and done their markings to the point where some of the words are kind of hard to read, <laughs> which is great because I want them to mark books. That's what we're all about here. But um, there's some beautiful information that I never knew. I never knew about how Handel's Messiah was created and what kind of incredible man he was. And all the charity work that he did and how often he would give all the money from his concerts away and I didn't know about the work ethic of other composers and about their yearnings to be closer to God and to please Him through their music and, and that they dedicated their music to Him and all these wonderful, beautiful things about their spirituality that is hard to find in most um, information about musical composers. It also speaks to the price that they paid to be where they were at musically, how dedicated they were to it, how young. Um, their musical genius manifests itself, and you'll learn about their lives as well, a few of the things that they did in their lives, and um, so it's great, it's great as biography, not just for this question about spirituality and music, which I also think is very important. It's also good for a chronology of music and music history, understanding the different phases. I recommend, this would be really fun to do, if you just did culture nights at your house, like the Ten Booms did, which we do sometimes, you could just take this book and like once a week or even once a month, you could quickly read through one of them and then you could listen to a few pieces of theirs. Like you could watch a concert on YouTube or you could get on the radio and pick them up or you could just buy one of their pieces. And this is the great part. He's got a recommended reading list at the end of each little biography. 
So you can try to find those pieces in particular, especially because some of these are ones that he references in the biography about them. And so you could just get a taste for their music. Here's another thing that he does in here that I absolutely love. He highlights a, a, um, an attribute, a character strength of each of these composers. So like some thoughts on Beethoven says determination. I don't know if you can see that. can't reach in as far as I want to, but he talks about how uh, Beethoven really shows us the benefit and the need for determination. He was very determined. So you go further on, you get to Mendelssohn, optimism. Mendelssohn was very optimistic. Chopin, he highlights repentance. So he's talking about this, their spirituality and he's talking about their character. So as a character building reading, it's so invaluable. And it, it's something that you could take all 20, you could spend a year on it, you could spend two years on it, and just highlight each one of these individuals and listen to one of their readings and talk about an attribute, character strength from each of them that we should try to emulate and be like them. So I just think that would be such a fabulous activity for your family. Definitely this is, um, uh, you could also doing a reading program on music in, in addition to this book, doing other books, be really, really valuable for your family as well. But make music part of your family's education, all the way back to Plato and forward. Most of the great philosophers talk about the importance of music in any valuable education. And, you know, it's something that we don't address in most of our school systems, and children and youth are going crazy with what they're listening to on the radio. And that music they listen to is becoming part of their identity, and they're listening to it all through adulthood, and it's creating character a certain kind of character and so what kind of character do we want to have now I got kids who love pop music and and I can't I can't you know get that out of our out of our home entirely but we have boundaries and those boundaries make it great so the music that comes into our home is uplifting and quality and I don't know I could go on forever and I'll talk about music on other posts but um, please make music part of your education in your home and start with this book if you want to. This is a great one to start with. Spiritual Lives of the Great Composers by Patrick Cavanaugh. If this information was helpful to you, please pass it on to a friend, post it on Facebook, Twitter, wherever you like to go. Like us on Facebook, join our email list, engage in our programs, join our free book discussions, and build your character through the classics. <music>